Hi, I am Reverend Brandy Jasmine and it's Ryan, the pastor of Quinn Chapel AME Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. For this Holy Week season, the mighty preaching women of the mighty Quinn Chapel, myself, Reverend Jacqueline Ford, and Reverend Irene Prince are going to read for you selections from Karl Barth's sermons in his book, Come Holy Spirit. I want to take a minute or two and give much respect to, and talk for a second just about who Karl Barth was and why his theology and his sermons are so compelling for us in this Holy Week season. Barth was a theologian and a pastor in the early 20th century. He was Swiss, but he taught and he learned and he pastored in Germany at the rise of the Third Reich. His theology developed then and his theology and sermons developed afterwards were in direct conversation with the rise of the theologizing of white supremacy. His theology and his sermons take on those theological themes which undergird white supremacy in Europe and here in America. We can learn a lot from history. But the cool thing about Karl Barth's sermons is not just that it's theological prowess. It's not just that sometimes you hear me say Bardian things. Like you've heard me say, God does God things. I'm Brandy. I do Brandy things. That's a, a rift on Karl Barth's God is God and we are not. You've heard me say, move over and let God be God for you. Stop trying to be God for yourself. That's a riff on Karl's, Karl Barth's God is God for us. You've heard Bardian theology come out of my mouth. And the reason that you have is because Barth developed his theology in church settings and conversations with church folk. He preached and taught theology academically and developed it in the church, in meetings, in worship, in choir rehearsals, in dialogue with normal people who knew and believed God. And it is this combination that we thought would be necessary, would be helpful, would be a gift, an offering in this time when we have been without community, without uh, in-person worship, without being able to fellowship together, without physical community for yet another Holy Week. We thought we would bring to you theology and sermons developed in community for the purpose of reminding us that God is indeed God and we are human. And we hope that these sermons that we found compelling for us will remind you that you are human, will remind you that being fully human means to be loved by God. We hope that Karl Barth's sermons will show you his theology, that Jesus really is the word of God, that through whom we are capable of knowing God and through whom we are capable of even knowing ourselves. We hope that in these sermons that we will read for you this week, that the word of God that is Christ Jesus will confront you. We hope that the word of God that is Christ Jesus will arrest you and that you will be able to know that you are free before God, through God's word. On my shirt is a picture of Karl Barth, the pastor. And I am pleased to offer these, his sermons to you this week. Now, I have to say that throughout the last few decades and the last few generations, scholars have critiqued Barth because as a Swiss theologian, he does not know what it means to be Black in America. He has no clue what it means to be Christian and to hear theology of white supremacy. He was Swiss and a white man. Those critiques are valid. But Karl Barth's theology that says simply God is God and we are not, and we know exactly who we are and who God is through Christ Jesus, subverts the theological hierarchy that is found in white supremacist theology and sometimes even our own. And so Karl Barth, his theology and his sermons are appropriate to be used in the black church. You might even hear some things that sound a whole lot like things you already say. Join us this week as we read some classic sermons from Karl Barth's Come, 
Holy Spirit. May your spirit be blessed during this journey to the cross. <laughs>